A Christian student in Nigeria was stoned, beaten and burned to death on Friday after she was accused of blasphemy. Deborah Samuel Yakubu was attacked and killed by her fellow students after posting a message on social media. Nigerian police say the message was blasphemy against the Prophet Muhammad. It is the latest in a rising trend of attacks against Christians in that country. And joining me now to discuss is Sean Nelson, legal counsel for global religious freedom with ADF International. Sean, welcome. Good to be with you. Um, talk Great, thank to, you for having me. Talk to us more about this horrific attack and what led up to it. Well, just like you said, it's, it's an absolutely horrific attack. And unfortunately, it's not particularly uh, strange or unique. Uh, so what happened in, in Sokoto in the northern part of Nigeria, that's a heavily Muslim area and Christians are a minority in that area. A young Christian woman was going to university just trying to get a good education like any any other person. Uh, there was a classroom WhatsApp chat and uh, people would post all sorts of things and uh, some of her fellow classmates uh, did not like something that she had posted. Uh, it's unclear exactly what she had posted but because of that they started accusing her of having uh, blasphemed, having insulted the pro Prophet Muhammad, and because of that, they whipped up a mob against her. Mm. Uh, students went, they closed off areas of the school, um, they gathered around, uh, and uh, the, the, the videos that are going around social media are just horrific, but they, uh, just as you said, they, they beat her, they stoned her, they lit her on fire, um, and, and that's how Deborah died. It's, it's an absolutely terrible crime. Uh, unfortunately, some people in Nigeria uh, seem to be perfectly fine with that. There were protests very shortly after this incident happened a few days later where some students uh, began protesting, rioting. They set fires to Catholic churches in the area, and they wanted some of these suspects who have been arrested for this crime to be released. So it's a very difficult situation for Christians in Sokoto and throughout northern Nigeria. It's so hard to imagine, Sean. Um, I, I want to go back to that, too. You mentioned the churches, the Catholic churches that were attacked. What more do you know about that? Well, one of the, uh, the bishops there, B Bishop Matthew Hassan Kuka, uh, spoke about the, uh, the incident, spoke about some of the rioting that had happened, and noted that uh, the, the, there were two Catholic churches that had had their windows broken in. One of them had been burnt. Uh, other reports have mentioned some evangelical churches that also had been attacked. Uh, it's something where the uh, situation got so out of control that the local government actually instituted a 24-hour curfew um, to try to quell what was going on, uh, and, and Bishop Kuka also called for peace. This has been something where uh, many of the religious leaders have called for uh, people to, to be peaceful, um, they've called for the prosecution of the attackers of Deborah. Uh, but unfortunately, we just see this happening year in. Um, every, every week, it actually seems like there's another uh, Christian, another priest who's being kidnapped, another church that's being attacked. Uh, and as you said at the beginning, this is an increasing thing. Just last year, there were 4,650 Christians killed for, the, for their faith. Uh, that's reported by Open Doors. In the first three months of this year, there have been 900 Christians killed. So this is a, a terrible thing, and we really need the world to pay attention to just what's happening to Christians in Nigeria. Yeah, and I also know the president of Nigeria did condemn that violent attack against Deborah. Um, but I also want to ask you this. You know, what can be done to stop these vigilante attacks? I mean, what more can they do there? Well, one of the things that would be uh, uh, the most helpful is to repeal these blasphemy laws, repeal uh, these apostasy laws, um, repeal things that uh, provide cover to people who want to commit these sorts of vigilante attacks. Um, it's, it's, it's not a good thing to, to have that happen, but it's not a good thing for somebody to be prosecuted for blasphemy just for expressing their own religious opinions. Uh, that should not be against the law in the first place. Uh, there are people besides Christians who get prosecuted for this. There are humanists, atheists, who get prosecuted. Uh, there was a, a humanist, Mubarak Bala, who recently received a 24-year sentence for blasphemy. Um, there are, are other religious minorities who also face this. So I think that would be a major thing. And, and to just 
recognize the reality of what's happening, that the violence is out of control. Uh, the international community really needs to speak up. Far too few leaders around the world have spoken up in, in defense of Deborah uh, Samuel, Deborah Yukubu, and in defense of the right to religious freedom. Well, Sean, I wish we had more time to talk about this, but uh, and so much more we can say, but we're running out of time. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us and for all that you do. We appreciate it. God bless you. Thank you, Tracy.